This tutorial describes the use of line elements, in the various analysis types in LISA. If the analysis type is selected as two-dimensional, the line elements must be located only in the XY plane. Line elements, have a cross-sectional shape, defined in the geometric tab, of the materials dialog. For only static analysis, specific shapes like, I, C, T and others can be used. For every other type of analysis, only a general cross-section can be selected. To rotate the cross-section, activate the Select Elements mode. Select the elements. Right-click on the selected elements, and choose Element Properties. Then, specify the angle by which to rotate the cross-section. The Tutorials and Reference PDF Guide has more details on rotating line element cross-sections, using vectors. In static, dynamic response, modal vibration, modal response and buckling analysis, each node of a truss and spring element, can move along the X and Y axis. And if it is a three-dimensional analysis, then it can move along the Z axis as well. Beam element nodes in addition to these motions, can also rotate about the three axes, if in three-dimensional analysis. Or just the z-axis, if in a two-dimensional analysis. In these same analysis types, by default, a two-node line element, is a beam element. It can be changed to a truss element, by selecting the elements, then right-clicking to select the element properties. Select the Truss checkbox, to complete the conversion. To convert the default beam element, into an axial spring element. In the Mechanical tab, of the Material Properties, select Spring, and type the Spring constant. The nodes in beam elements can be released, so that they no longer resist rotational motion. To do this, Select the elements, then right-click Loads and Constraints, and select a new flexible joint. Then choose the rotational degrees of freedom to be released. The U, V, and W are the local coordinate axes of the beam elements, and can be displayed by clicking the Show Element Axes Tool button. In thermal analysis, a line element represents a fin, which can conduct heat, along its length. The nodes take temperature values. In DC current analysis, a line element represents a resistor. The nodes take voltages. This ends the tutorial on line elements. Please view the tutorials, that describe the other element shapes available in LISA.